do a te ramp test on the model DC Pods 3500 series, which are good to up to reading capability of up to 3500 horsepower. Steady state capability, you can do the math, but each side holds approximately 3200 foot pounds of torque. Peak. So we're going to go in here and create a session. We'll call it ramp test. We'll enter the VIN number, which I've already ran several tests already of this car, and I use a license plate number. It's a 2013 Mustang. This particular GT500 Mustang has approximately 725 horsepower at the engine. It's important to enter the tire diameter to get an accurate wheel speed or speedometer reading from inside the car. Now we're ready to do the new run. We will select ramp. I do this test on uh, the 15,000 model series, so I want a dura test duration that's going to be similar. Uh, the test duration on the 15,000 is roughly 8 seconds, so I'll change the time to 8 seconds, which gives me an acceleration rate of 7.5 miles per hour per second squared. Now, depending on your pod model, you may not be able to achieve this rate depending on the model. Well, that means the torque capability and the torque output at the axle of the vehicle itself. But in this case, I can achieve 7.5 miles per hour per second. I'll select snapshot for my pickup, start at 2,000 RPM, and I will make sure I stabilize the PID control loop at the beginning. So I will always want to keep this checked and locked in for about five seconds. So the PID control loop will stabilize at the starting speed. And the starting speed will be, in this case, when I hit the go button on handheld. Okay, now that we're about to do the ramp test in the car, I'm going to take it into fourth gear. It's important to get into a gear. A gear high enough to minimize the torque output to the shaft to maximize the efficiency of the eddy brakes. So I'm going to get into fourth gear in this particular vehicle. Connected to your phone and is reminding you that 911 assist is sent to us. So when I press go, the ramp will hold for five seconds. 